I'm Aiden Matthews. And I'm Zach Snyder. And welcome back to another YouTube podcast, the one-stop shop for anything and everything related to YouTube. Got to ask you, Aiden. So we're going to be talking about our wrap up of the 2021 year today. Mm -hmm. And, you know, Spotify recently put out their Spotify wrapped for people. Uh, We have our own podcast stats even. We're going to talk about them. When in the hell is Pornhub going to do a Pornhub wrap? Oh, that's that'd be I really thinking. cool. That'd be really cool, uh, actually. I'm just curious because I know there's some videos I go back to. I'm trying to see right. how many times I watched them. Right. What categories uh, you were involved categories, with? Categories, you know? actresses. Yeah. What time you know? did you pause the video more often? You know, so there's like a right, that way you right. know. View duration, right? True. Average view duration. That'd be True. interesting. You know, some days I'd be like a 20, 30 minute guy and other days it might be a two minute guy. Like I don't know, I'm, I'm curious. In the, in the top 1% <laughs> of, of a porn star's fans, bro. You watch more <laughs> bro. of her videos uh, than anyone else. Maybe it's a bad idea then because because that would that would show how deranged some it, of us It'd are. be kind of demoralizing, oh. you know, a little yeah. bit. Like it'd be a yeah. go touch some grass kind of moment for sure. I'm a I'm a stats guy though. I wished. Yeah, me I, too. Absolutely. It'd be interesting to have statistics on like everything in my life. Mm. Like I was I was curious. Somebody somebody made a joke about having like a DoorDash wrapped, right? And I'm like, well, you know, I use DoorDash, I use Uber Eats, Postmates before Uber Eats bought them out. So I'm like, how many burrito Supremes did I did I eat from Taco Bell this year? And uh, I did the math, and it's it's a little embarrassing. Yeah. Little what embarrassing. is it? Share with it the is, class. It's it's over thirty. Damn. It's over thirty burrito it's supremes. It's a lot. It's a lot. It's a lot. That's just the burrito supremes. That's not the soft tacos. That's a much higher number, I'm sure. <laughs> Whew. Or Doritos Locos tacos. Anyways, welcome back that to the YouTube podcast. Though, for real. They're great. I love Taco Bell, bro. That should be our next podcast. Uh, Taco Bell, you know, their Taco Bell podcast. I'll talk about Taco Bell all day. I got no problems. Taco Bell, reach out and sponsor us, please. Yeah, yeah we'll, we'll do that podcast yeah. for sure, for sure. Hell yeah. Anyways. This episode of another YouTube podcast, like Zach said, are year wrapped. We kind of do this every year where we talk about how the year went, what we like, dislike, sort of mention all the projects and shit. And then briefly at the end, uh, kind of give a little bit of a look forward to next year. And we usually do an, an episode following that of like, what are our plans for the new year? Since we're not going to be doing that since the podcast is going to be ending, we're going to kind of just throw them in here as like a little bonus or whatever. So yeah. be getting a lot of shit in here. But before we do that, thank you to Awesome yeah. Creator Academy for sponsoring this episode of another YouTube podcast. It's pretty based. We appreciate you boys. You know, Kiss Kiss. YouTube starter kit. Check that shit out. Description. Hundreds of dollars of value, bro. Hundreds. For $99. Hundreds. Constantly you know many, updated. You know how many minutes this podcast you listen to? Think about that. Think about how much time you could have saved instead by getting yeah, so the true. YouTube starter kit. Probably would have saved a lot more time. So you know? As a kid, I agree. we value money more than time. You got all the time in the world, but you ain't got money. So why would you pay for something online? Nowadays, sure, complete sure. opposite. If I don't have to waste 100 hours of my life and I can just buy something for $5, I would. And that's what Roberto Blake promising you. Just spend the money now. Say, fuck it. Don't listen to Aiden and Zach's dumbass. Ramble on. You get some Facts. practical shit there. Facts. One and done. Did that with the Fortnite Battle Pass one one season. Just like spent 80 bucks, got some view bucks. Didn't have to waste my time grinding in Fortnite, bro. Cut out the fluff. Cut out the fluff. You know? Did get the Rick and Morty skin. So time is more important these days. I agree. I agree. I could talk all day about like how how much time has become more important than money. Used to be like, I'm not gonna waste my money on something, and now I'd be like, Can I save an hour by spending ten bucks? I'm spending ten bucks. <laughs> I bought a I bought a stream deck. You think I'd be caring about my money <laughs> these days? No, sir. About time. So true. So Hopefully I'll get back with said stream deck. But speaking Ooh. of time. That's what this whole episode's about. How we spent our yeah. time this year. The 2021 year. I can't believe it's already December, bro. We're going to cover the YouTube channels, the main ones. Then we're going to cover the side channels. Then we're going to cover the side projects. 
your Twitch streams, yeah. podcasts, comedy music, comedy music, the, all the, the shit, the memoir that I'm working on. We're not like, covering the multiple memoir. things. We're not covering. True. The it's memoir. still it's still got a lot of work to do. We'll, we'll still got a lot more time we need to put into that. But the rest of those things, they're all <laughs> happening. But I think before we do any of that, we should talk about those uh, Spotify routes numbers. I think that'd be a really cool place to start. Yeah, I agree. So first off, shout out to the plus 17% of new followers on uh, Spotify, Apple Music, you know, all the different other plat- podcast platforms people be watching are pretty cool. It's really cool. Really, really happy that uh, we got some new followers this year. That's really dope. Heck yeah. I'm expecting that. Yeah, I wasn't expecting any. So the, <laughs> the fact that that happened, I was like, yo, shit. Holy cow. Yeah. Uh, and I was also surprised by how many countries were listening. Eight whole countries. People listening. Yeah. So if you had to yeah. guess what those eight were, what do you, what do you think? Because they don't tell you, unfortunately. So. I mean, we got US. We got the UK. Right. Um, I think Australia is one of them. Okay. Okay. Uh, and then after that, I can actually, I think, find out. Yeah, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. What are the other ones? I'm curious. Um, so we've got 53% from the U.S. We got 8% from Canada. 6% oh. from the U.K. 3% from Australia. And then everything else is like underneath that. We've got a little bit of Ireland. A little bit of France, a little bit of Germany, a little bit of Spain. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And that's our top ones. A little bit of India and Russia are underneath that. Denmark. Cool. Uh, but it's much smaller percentages in those, right? Our podcast is Mr. Worldwide. Got a 68% male audience and a 30% female audience. That's better than I expected, honestly. That's pretty cool. And a 2% non specified. Yo, shout out to all the non-specified homies listening to the podcast. They got a um, they got a non-binary option. Yo, good on Anchor. Good on Anchor and Spotify for including that. Shit's important. Um, What do you What do you think our age ranges are, bro? What do you think? Oh God. Uh, Normally, with the type of shit we make, we we skew younger. I'm gonna guess with Mm -hmm. YouTube podcast, it weirdly skews older, and we get a lot of older people watching this shit. We got six percent. In the under 17 crowd. Yeah, makes a lot of sense. We got 1% in the over 60 plus crowd. Nobody six years old are really watching us, right? Damn. Um, and then from there, 8% and 45 through 59. Cool. We've cool. got 16% in 28 through 34. And then 20, 19% in 23 to 27. So our age range, 19%. And right. then the two biggest categories, 25 and 25% are 18 through 22 and 35 through 44. Wow. So. In a good variety of people, actually. It's not dominated by just yeah. one. 18 to 44 are like our, you know, 75% of people. I'd be feeling 34. So I, I relate to, to you guys listening. For what sure. a mood. I'm 24. Mood. I didn't mention that in the last uh, 24. episode. I'm 24. Yeah. Now. Got a birthday recently. Yeah. Another year down the shitter, bro. I'm yeah. telling you. Tell me about it. I'm about to be 26 in January. Yeah. What the fuck? <laughs> what the freak? What the hell is going on, bro? Um, Unfortunately, all of our top episodes... According to Anchor, is still 2020 episodes. We, we went downhill, like at some point, right? 2020 yeah. was pretty banging, and then, you know, 2021, we've put out our most episodes ever. I looked cool. it up. Do you know what the first episode of 2021 was? Yeah, it's the um, I forgot. Never mind. We just looked at it recently. Number 63, our year on YouTube. 2020. Oh, so it was our 2020. Look back. That's cool. Yeah. yeah. So 63 to 100. <laughs> Pretty damn close to near 40 episodes. Wild. This year alone. 37. It'll be 37 by the end of it. Way that. more than any other year. Not even close, really. There's no like second yeah. place. Like 2018, we had 23. You know? 2017 had mm-hmm. 10, and we were just starting, obviously. Half of the year was already gone. 
2019 had 14, and then the year prior, 2020, 16 episodes. So the yeah. fact that it's going to be 37 by the end of the year, it's wild that our most productive year is also our, our last year, for sure. Yeah, yeah, that's crazy. And we have, um, we actually have the stats on how many minutes of content we made. Went and added up what Anchor didn't count in the episode that Aiden and I just recorded. So it's 35 episodes, 2,085 minutes. Yeah. 2,087, 85 minutes. That's a lot. That's a, a lot of damn minutes. If you listen to all those minutes, you're insane. 34 hours, almost 35 hours that we've spent this year alone recording this damn podcast. It'll be cool. Like, we should remind ourselves, like, final episode like tally up like how long it would take to listen to all of the YouTube podcasts. Like if you want yeah, to just let me binge write that down. Right now. I'll have to do it like near the end of the final episode. That way we get like a, a good estimation. But that yeah, that'd would be, be cool. Insane. But thank you to everybody who's really listened, cool. whether it's on Spotify, Anchor, all the podcast platforms, even though it wasn't our, our best year in terms of user minutes. Uh, we had some episodes that popped off. We had some episodes that did well. And we covered a bigger variety of shit. That's what I really like. Like this year especially was less like tutorial and like sort of niche stuff and more of like covered a lot of what was trending, covered a lot more of like the the debate side of things of like sort of philosophy, which is kind of cool. I don't be seeing a lot of YouTube help shit cover that. And we talked about a lot of uh, a lot of the bad side of YouTube that doesn't get mentioned either. We talked about the real nasty shit, you know. Yeah. So it was a cool year for the podcast. um, I actually just started checking the YouTube stats for the year. Uh, And it's a lot different, actually. Um, We don't have as many listeners on YouTube, uh, but we've gotten way more views on 2021 stuff than we have anything else. Our top 10 videos of the year are, are 2021 episodes. Awesome. So that's pretty dope. We appreciate you boys and girls. And, uh, and non-specified. Non <laughs> yeah. Appreciate you 2% as well. It's been it's been epic. Yeah. We'll talk Very more much. about the YouTube podcast in the final episode. Uh, but right, for the right. 2021 wrapped up portion, we had a great year. We had a great year for the podcast, honestly. Yeah. yeah we're ending fun. it on a high note like we said we would, baby. Exactly. Following through. Exactly. I feel so much better about ending the podcast knowing that we literally did the best we could this year compared to every other year. Yeah. It's really dope. I talked about it a little bit on 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 Anchor, but like I really do not want to feel guilty for quote quitting out on a project or dipping. Right. Um, Versus like putting in the time to finish. Acknowledging that I want to pivot and try new things, but like finishing what I started is is important because otherwise I just... I feel bad, man. I feel shitty. Same, same. And I will say with this podcast, there's no part of me that's going to feel bad or shitty. Like, then that's awesome. That's great. I feel bad for projects I started 10 years ago that didn't have a, like an actual final ending to it, you know? So I, I agree. I I don't think I'm going to regret anything about another YouTube podcast. And that's really cool. Had a good run. Had a really good run. Absolutely. But we'll talk about that shit later. Let's move on. Yeah, to, yeah, yeah. to the main channels, the bread and butter. I was going to talk about my Letterbox account. Bro, fuck your Letterbox. Bro, you know I watched I... 175 films this year. That's too damn many for one. They all got reviewed. Bro, 391 likes on my reviews, 35 comments. Okay, how bro. many of them me though? Like 293 that... hours of watching films. How many of those likes me? How many of them comments me? <laughs> At least like... 176 of we take out of the percentage of that for sure can we, can we look at those stats? yeah hold on hold on hold on if i look up if i take 391 likes minus 176 for aiden Damn, minus 176 for jay 39 likes from people i don't really know or okay. parker or yeah people i don't really know for sure <laughs> for sure sure those are probably parker Again, the cholera really fucked with them. We mentioned it on. Anyways, let's talk about let's talk about the main YouTube channels. Hell yeah! So, who do we want to start with? Want to start with uh, you? Want to start with me? Sure, I'll go first. I don't mind. Yeah, go ahead. How was twenty twenty one 
for the year 21. Oof, man. Um, where do I even start? So 2020 ended on a Christmas special video. Felt really good about it. The, the October Halloween special with the crossover before that. And then, uh, I didn't make anything for six months. Um, so Yin really started in 2021 in June. And that was the golden age of Disney video, which I'm um, still very proud of. A really good video. Probably and, my um, favorite from this year. Yeah. I think in terms of like, not only like a quality standpoint, but like what I'm bringing to the table in terms of the topic, I think it's probably the best one from this year. Yeah. Um, 311 views. Did well too. That was awesome. Really dope. Really dope. So then right after that, I started getting into YouTube shorts a little bit, fucking around with that. Um, and they did, they did well. They did surprisingly well. We've talked about that on the podcast. Um, I'm, I, I want to do more, I think, but I don't know for sure. I'm, mm. I'm still trying to figure that out. I think if I go into 2022 and I make the decision to not do YouTube shorts, I'll probably private those videos or at least unlist them. Uh, but but I don't know. I could get a wild hair one day and just be like, let's just make a bunch more of these because they did, they did gangbusters. I'd be at a thousand subs if I kept doing them. Yeah, absolutely. Um, it was part of the reason you got really close. So a lot of that came from these. Uh, yeah, these shorts. I got like a good twenty twenty subs or so, and I've been you know bleeding out a couple more <laughs> here and there since then. So that's kind of funny. Um, after that though, I did an iCarly video. You oh, wait, no, one. I did the nineteen fifties candy. 1950s ranking and reviewing a bunch of candy. That was really fun. Love Remember that project out. only taken like a week. So that was cool. Um, and then I Carly 2021 video it was fine. You know, solid. Yeah. Solid seven out of 10. Yeah. Good. 70 views. Did better than the candy video. So that's cool. Um, more shorts, more shorts. And then we got the Oscar 2020 53 movies ranked been in the works for like a year bro at year least <laughs> at least right. so glad that i got that video out i like it i want to do more like it not surprised it got 27 views not even remotely mm. did better so, than i thought yeah yeah i agree i agree and then you know i just went fucking bonkers made a book tube channel my second about favorite books. of the year is this one which is really fun i like making it i want to do more change like it. Up. it's cool it's cool and then right after that i did a little uh what was gonna be the start of a weekly roundup kind of thing uh but now is probably gonna be like a my quick thoughts on some popular shit that just happened so i'm probably gonna make more of these in the future um i'm gonna do less because we talked about that it's like 40 things in this one video or some shit. Right, right. There's a lot to, lot to handle. Drop it down to like 10 or less um, in the future. Um, probably a format of video that I think I would try to do weekly if possible and then also do other content on top of, obviously. Mm. Wouldn't want it to be the main focus for sure. No, no. But I think like given the right topics, you know, I make a, I put like a, Spider-Man No Way Home in the title could do well, you know, new Kendrick Lamar album drops and I talk about it could could do well. Um, so we'll see it, it kind of kind of a return to form to early in where I'm talking about shit that I think will um, pop off in video, you know, and SEO and whatnot, but a little more refined to where I'm talking about like multiple things. Right. Um, and that's it. That was my last video in October of 2021. And then the year kind of just sucked for a little while. So, um, but I'm, I'm okay with it. I think it, it mm. was, it was a, it was a tough year in certain areas and I, uh, I didn't make some good shit. I'm very happy with that Disney video. I'm happy with that Disney candy video. video. Bang. Book video was cool. I'm glad I finally got that Oscar video done. I feel like there's a lot of um, a lot of foundational stuff this year that if I can, you know, go the next step in 2022 to 2025, I think Yin is in a, in a, in a good place. So 
because I looked it up on a social blade, but you started the year roughly at around 954 subs. Mm. And mm-hmm. you've, as of recording this on December 3rd, are at 996 with a pretty gradual mm. upkeep with the biggest jump happening between Actually. June and July. Or July, yeah, because of that Disney short And then thing. a little bit more into August, and then it kind of peters out, and then we're there. Yeah, um, 49 subs is what YouTube is telling me I got this year. And then 22,000 views, including YouTube shorts, because some of them popped off insanely well. It did and then, stupid uh, well. Yeah, yeah. And then uh, 800 hours of watch time, which is not good compared to past years. Uh, but I didn't put on a whole lot of content. So what do you, what do you know? Not I stuff. get it. I get it. Yeah. I, I guess the thing is, is like, uh, we've sort of talked about this year where you've kind of been back and forth on like focuses, like for a while. It was, All over the place. I want to make these giant videos with 80 things in them and have them be these big pieces. And then mm-hmm. next month I'm going to do shorts. And next month I want to do roundups. I want to do whatever. And we had like, maybe one or two just typical yins. So I guess yeah. the question is like more experimenting to come. Is there stuff you've liked, disliked? What, what's, what's sort of the, the, the takeaway? Why well, turn my alarm off? Cause I forgot it's 6 a.m. out here. Motherfucker. <laughs> don't cut Damn. Don't cut none of this. Damn. I'm not, I don't want to edit. Alarm. Fuck that. That's, that's real life. Okay. Yeah, absolutely. It's 7 a.m. for me. Um, but. funny thing is I don't even be waking up to that alarm it just goes you know and eventually <laughs> it, it stops and I go back to bed and all that sort of shit what a mood oh man um the thing about the thing about your everyday nerd is that uh I'm still debating those things mm. I still like I have like a 45 minute to an hour long video I want to make about the Lord of the Rings movies and books because I finally I finally experienced those for the first time. I got the long ass fall guys video where I'm going to talk about fucking 60 mini games. That's going to be a long video. Absolutely. Um, other Disney ages are going to be longer videos. Uh, next Adam Sandler video will probably be, you know, 20, 30 minutes long, tons of bigger videos that I want to make. On the other hand, I do not have the energy. I'm not going to say time. Cause I feel like I got the time to make more content. I don't have the energy mm. to, to, to do this weekly um, and to make those videos weekly or even monthly at this point. So I think there's a, I think there's a potential where January starts and I'm like, all right, I'm just going to pick a plan and go with it and try it. I think there's also a potential for 2021 part two, where I just like, maybe I do some shorts, maybe I do some roundups, maybe I do a couple bigger videos. Uh, I think it's also a little bit in limbo in terms of what I'm going to do because we talked about that G4 thing last week. I don't know how that's yeah. going to turn out. That could yeah. be really cool. Um, I I need to do a better job of keeping on top of my client work week to week. So um, I got to get some more prioritization there. The real answer is I have no idea what Yen 2022 looks like as of this moment. I would like to, by the end of December, come up with some kind of plan though. Mm. that would be cool because you've talked just, about doing a, a bunch of different shit even to the point of like just covering marvel movies again for a little bit like for a short period of time right there's there's like there's the idea of i started this disney project let me just cover all of the disney movies until those videos are done if it takes a year it takes a year if it takes two months it takes two months i'm also thinking all right we'll do that plus the weekly roundups that way i can talk about other things as well uh, then we got the shorts, right? The shorts are, are pretty big. It'd be interesting to continue doing those. Um, the whole like Marvel movie thing coming up with a topic, finishing that topic till the very end. If it means covering all the Marvel movies until they're finished, just like the Disney videos, it'd be cool to have them finished. But I don't know. I just, I just don't have a content strategy right now. Like I usually do. And I think that's been really tough. In terms of uh, the direction, I feel like I'm directionless right now, mm. um, which is which is weird because I've always had kind of a goal to get to, and my only goal right now is 1,000 subscribers, and uh, 
Still got time left in the year. You could reach. I it. could still do it. I could still absolutely make it. So, yeah, I'm I'm hoping that by the end of twenty, by the end of December, I'll have some kind of a plan. If I don't, I'd like to come up with one soon. Um, especially if I'm going to do something like the G4 thing, where I would have to be making weekly content over there on top of my own stuff. Things would things are going to change completely in that in that case. Right. Um. Any opportunities so. for sure have to kind of be weighed and judged. See right. what takes priority for yeah. sure. And I'll say that like in terms of in terms of YouTube, the reason a lot of my first half of the year didn't pop off was because I had a lot of new client opportunities. Right. Um I started working with Deep Pocket Monster, Pat Flynn, and that channel's almost got a hundred thousand subs in a year. It's it's insane. I did like 40 videos for that channel and um, it's gotten the recognition it needed. It's doing well. I started cool to see a couple of off. other. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's been a really cool opportunity. I started working with a couple of other companies and businesses and it's like, they're all good stuff. It's all, it's all been a, a really good year in terms of work. I've gotten more money this year than I have combined in 2019, 2020. 2018 even i think i made more money this year than those three and that's not that's not saying that i do did exceptionally well in the financial things it just means i did so poorly in 2018 <laughs> through 2020 that we're finally getting somewhere let's go um, financial so, freedom. yeah we're we're on the track to that right it might take another couple of years but we're on the track um so it's it's a good thing you know i'm i'm I don't think I'm in a bad place in terms of my career. I wish your everyday nerd would. I wish I picked up the slack there. That's the only thing. I get you. So but that's um that's the main channel. I can't can't really say much else about it. Cool. Yeah. I've enjoyed the content for sure. Uh, Thanks. Getting any yens is always a, a treat for sure. And it's almost uh unintentionally. For sure, but it's almost turned into an event when a new yen comes out. Cause you're like, oh shit, yeah. new yen. It's like you'd be following a, a channel for a long time, and they finally upload. And you're like, oh, wow. Uh, yeah, yeah. You for know, sure. sometimes that means the quick thoughts video doesn't get the love it deserves because you're like, I waited a month for this shit. <laughs> but, right, right. But then the Disney video or the Oscar one comes out, and they are events, and you're like, oh cool. So then you kind of appreciate them a little bit more than than you would under normal circumstances, and that's been cool. I think your editing at least makes sense why it took so long for those to come out, right? Yeah, yeah, hundred yeah. percent. I think your editing's always getting better. I think your your on camera presence is always getting better, and uh, it's yeah, been a year of technical true. improvements too. New mic, true. New new Might DSLR. We're finally getting some yints that like have proper lighting in them. Like, yeah, despite there not being a light. ton of videos, like comparatively the quality of some of the even twenty nineteen yints. Yeah, there's a mm-hmm. difference there. There's a difference in Absolutely. variety. There's a difference in topics and editing and, and technical proficiency. Uh, there's progress. Um, not a lot in terms of uploads or whatever, but sometimes like spending a month in between videos. Again, I know it wasn't intentional, uh, mm-hmm. but spending time in be- in between those, we're, we're able to see bigger leaps of uh, progress than you would be if you had to make a video every day like you were or every Definitely. Week, you know? So Definitely. we had a long discussion off camera about like picking a lane and sticking to it rather than doing so much experimentation. And I think I, I truly believe if I just picked a lane, if I either did, you know, weekly content that wasn't these big ass videos, but they were weekly content. I think I'd be good if I went the opposite route and said, I'm going to spend three months on this video and it's going to come out, but it'll be really good. Um, I think the channel would do tremendously better than kind of doing this back and forth game mm. that I'm doing right now. So, you know, if it means making big videos once every six months, I'm okay with that as long as that's what I'm doing and each video gets better and they're worth the wait. Right. 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 Can't put on a weekly roundup thing after three months of not having anything else out and expect people to stick around. Just it and unrealistic. You got to build a behavior. 
Yeah. And any of them are fine, but you got right. you got to build one. Got to pick one of them. Yeah. Not just for yourself, but for viewers of like what to expect type shit. Definitely. Know, like, definitely. Get people coming back. Get people subbing more. You know, it's always mm-hmm. a goal of mine for sure. It's an it's an issue I struggle with as well. So. Not just no, you on that no, one. No, Picking no. a lane and, and finding something that you're good at, finding your strengths, is really hard. Because I could say things, I could put put out ideas, I could pitch to you a direction Yin could go. Mm-hmm. But ultimately, not only is it not my decision to make, but uh, you'll know when you reach it, and your decision will will be your decision, and I'll and I'll vibe with it regardless because you'll know better. You know, it's it's natural problems that come with making a YouTube channel. You know, 100%. I'm not the first one that's had this issue. I won't be the last. Um, it'll be just really nice to have a direction. And that's what I'm looking forward to right now. Just a direction would be cool. Heck yeah. But cool. anyways, how was, uh, how was Blue Cash Productions this year? <laughs> how was Blue Cash Productions this year? <laughs> had to give Which Zach one? some like reading material <laughs> just so we could even talk about this. <laughs> and I'll be on the same page. Uh. This print this the, out to, to read it on the toilet later. Yeah, yeah exactly. Get get caught up before you're able to properly experience yeah. Blue yeah. Couch Productions. Uh, this year, I, I started over. I, I, I pulled the yeah. reset switch. I After five years of Blue Couch Productions, literally five years, I uh, decided, yeah, fuck this. <laughs> Let's do a new channel. But the new channel is called Blue Couch Productions. So I have to be very specific <laughs> about how I word that shit and ate on Anchor right. and Discord posts because I know it can be very confusing. Uh, but we've talked about it on YouTube podcasts. Short version of it. The old channel had a problem with dead subs. It had a problem with people expecting Pokemon content when I wasn't doing it. Uh, a lot of my content was streams that I no longer did. And the idea was if I take these old videos and put them on a new channel and was consistent with it, they would be able to reach a better audience starting from zero rather than trying to spend the next three or four years purging old subscribers. We look back at my history and found that from basically 2019 on, my subs and growth has been stagnant for several years, which made mm-hmm. no sense to me considering I improved year in year over year. Uh, obviously not being consistent, but but getting better at making videos and stuff. So we decided, fuck it, pull the plug, start over, Blue Catch Productions, new branding and shit, and we hit the ground running in that. So it's going to be kind of a two-parter, right? We're going to talk about yeah. Aiden in the first half of the year with the old channel and Aiden in the second half <laughs> of the year with the, new, <laughs> with the new channel. So Almost exactly halfway, right? It's just close. Yeah. Split down. Starting in August on the new channel. So that's cool. That's sort of where where we pivot, and I'll let you know. So, What's January. Home, what was Aiden doing in January? What was the start of the year? Basically finishing 30 for 30. It's like, right. fuck, this shit's still going. <laughs> I tried to do this shit in a month, and in May, and here we are in, like, January 2021. Have not finished it yet. So, the final two episodes, Sonic 3 and Knuckles, uh, which was a fun one, and then the finale mm-hmm. of 30 for 30 were filmed in, in the first half of the year. And I finally finished it. I loved those episodes. Those were some of my favorites. I originally planned to actually like finish them in December and had been working on them since then. But mm-hmm. uh, you know, delays happen, shit happens. Uh and I finally finally got them done and ended 30 for 30 out on a high note. Except <laughs> not, and we'll get back to that <laughs> later. <laughs> it's very funny. <laughs> Get back to that later. I, I get, starting it's a the mess. channel with ending or starting the year with ending 20, uh, 30 for 30 and ending the year with starting 30 for 30. Whatever. And ending it again. We're going to be ending 30 ending, for 30 yeah, again. Yeah, he'll be ending it too. So it's very so there's that. Anyways. In between those two 30 for 30s, I put out Aiden builds a $500 edi- editing PC, which is basically I spent Christmas money on an editing PC. Here's me and Ethan building it. Kind of a vlog yeah, it's video. It's a vlog. Yeah. Yeah. I do a couple of these every now and then where it's just like me and Ethan vibing and doing a thing. And naturally, Ethan's a very funny individual, so he'll say some stupid shit that I can catch True. on camera and yada yada. Uh, it was fine. A little long. A little long for my taste. I haven't re-uploaded it to the new channel because it doesn't really fit what I'm doing at all. Yeah. And it's like out of date of, now too, right? It's out of date. I mean, the parts are all the same. True. It's from like a year ago. So as time goes on, it's going to be harder and harder to justify 
re-uploading that video, but it, that's the only one from this year that it's going to be hard to re-upload. The rest of these will all, will all go from there. But uh, I remember watching it, and um, it was it was good. Like, you know, it was fine. funny Ethan moments, cool vlog, cool like vibey vlog. I don't watch that kind of content that often, so right. I made like a music montage of putting the motherboard and shit together. I did like right. a whole bit about prices and sort of broke that down a little bit. Uh, but yeah, it was just sort of a fun, relaxing. Aiden did some shit on Christmas. I have footage. Let's go ahead and put it together type shit. And those are always yeah. fun to do. But uh, in terms of what I'm more proud of, obviously the 30, f- 30 finale that came afterward was was pretty cool. And that happened to be another final video in the sense that that was the final video I edited on Sony Vegas. It was the last yeah, one. Yeah, that's right. Put, yeah, I put together the a finale. Big change. And said, yo, fuck it. I'm done with this garbage piece of software. I'm moving on. <laughs> so in case you're wondering, Aiden, what happened in the four in-between months <laughs> of 30 for 30 finale and what makes a Zelda game a Zelda game? Two wildly different videos with different levels of editing and style. I basically had to drop Sony Vegas and learn DaVinci Resolve from the ground up and transfer all my knowledge while also learning new shit. All my assets, everything had to be remade from DaVinci Resolve. And uh, I learned a lot along the way. It was a pain in the ass. I would not recommend everybody do it unless you're in the position I am where Sony Vegas was limiting you creatively and you needed to move on to better software. I recommend DaVinci Resolve a lot. I'm having more fun editing now this year than I ever have before. And that's just because the uh, the software, how things are laid out, what I can do. I can actually keyframe shit without it being a pain in the ass anymore. You know how hard it was <laughs> yeah. to zoom in just on basic shit? I couldn't do that easily with Sony wow. Vegas. Oh, jeez. I don't that's know why. insane. DaVinci it Resolve used to be the hottest. It used to be the hottest editing platform for a long time. Yeah, there's still Um, tutorials to this year, how to download it, how to add shit, and it's still wildly outdated. Uh, Mm. Granted, I could have chose Adobe Premiere and yada yada, but I ain't paying money to Adobe, and the issue resolves free, and yada yada. So that's what I did for those four in-between months. Part of me wanted to take a break. Part of me was also really excited to switch over. So I did that. Great use of time, for sure. I mean, if I'm not going to make something, right, I might as well be at least somewhat creative on the side. And then came my best video of the year. <laughs> what makes yeah. a Zelda game a Zelda game? I talked about this damn video so much on YouTube podcast. I talked about this video so damn much in the Discord calls. Mm-hmm. So I was really hyping it up, right? For obvious reasons. And I tried a lot of shit out that I am insanely proud of. The transitions, the flow. Like Zach said in the previous year week on YouTube, this sort of documentary style storytelling where there's a bit of an interview and a, and a history lesson, but also designing and, 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 and analyzing Zelda in a new way. It was really fun. I love that video. I've rewatched that video several times. I'm happy with the other stuff I put out. The Zelda video, to me, felt like the first new thing of 2021. We finally evolved to another stage, a Blue Couch 3.0 or whatever. Using the word evolved is the best way to put it, because, like... You've made a lot of really good videos in the past. Shit that I that I enjoyed. Shit that had like some educational value, like thirty for thirty. Plenty of funny bits. I feel like what makes a Zelda game a Zelda game is like an objectively great video on on every level. Like it is a it is a great video that I could easily recommend to anybody that likes Zelda games and be yeah. like, you'll get something out of this video. It's good. It's 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 a resume video. Like you could show this to Absolutely. somebody else and be like, Absolutely. "Look what I can do." It's it's fantastic, bro. I put it on my Patreon when I'm asking for editing shit. This is the video I send to people. Uh, it's what I want to be known for. I've talked about making these longer videos for so long. Back when mm. back to the video games was an idea, and you know that's yeah. kind of the shit I wanted to make. Yeah. And it wasn't until this year, really, after finally doing 20 episodes of 30 for 30 and crossover videos and all that sort of stuff. Da Vinci Resolve was that last piece to the puzzle where Definitely. I finally like in a little bit of copying from Psylocke Hawk and, you know, sort of figuring out how to make gameplay look interesting. Sure. sure. Uh, a little bit of that. That finally pushed me over the edge to make a video where I'm like, it's just good. You know, this is just good. I'm happy with it. I showed Ethan 
and, and he's usually pretty critical. He's like, you could have done some other things better. He was just like, no, this is really good Zelda analysis. I'm like, yo, yeah. thanks. I don't know yeah. shit about most of these games, but I'm glad it sounds like I did. And part of that obviously was a, a huge help to Jay the Zoomster, who not only did that interview, but really kind of gave me perspective about how all that shit worked and providing a lot of the humor. The the horse riding bit in yeah. Yeah. is one of my favorites, <laughs> for sure. Uh, I love funny. that video. I, every yeah. video I work on is trying to emulate that. It's the mm-hmm. standard, right? And everything else is trying to match it. And I don't okay. succeed always, but I get close. It's my favorite video. Game. It's mine too. Anyway, Absolutely. moving on from that, we got one more video before the, the channel switch over. It's ranking all 32 levels in Super Mario Brothers. Damn, this <laughs> felt like such a slam dunk <laughs> when I had the idea. <laughs> I'm like, this shit, low-key genius. No one's done it before. It's going to be epic. I was happy with the, with the countdown list. It had a pretty funny bit in the beginning. What could go wrong? And then it, just, it just did fine. 18 views, you know? Yeah. Compared to the it's, 41, whatever. It's unfortunate, because I, I like the video a lot. I think the topic's really cool. I think it's a a great ranking of the levels. Um, you know, every once in a while, I get these, like, very specific, obscure ranking videos in my sub box or my homepage. Usually my homepage recommendation. And it's just, like, another Watch Mojo clone. It's uninteresting. It's boring. I don't care. Uh, this this one, that, that, this was good. Uh, wish that it had done better. I think if you wanted to, you could like rank levels to other Mario games and maybe one of those could pop off and feed into each other. Right. Um, but that'd be only if you wanted to. But I like the video. I'd love more shit like this for sure. And we talked about title, thumbnail stuff, all that. Right, right. Yeah. For me, it was an excuse to remake the countdown assets that I used in the 30 for 30 finale and do the video right. as well. So right. that was the practical purpose it served. But it was kind of like one it's of true. the final <coughs> straws that sort of broke the camel's back regarding the old channel because right. here's a video that right. should have done better and could have done better but was limited by the fact that it was a channel with dead subs that had pokemon expectations live stream expectations i felt like i had made a good mario video and i put it out to the worst possible environment and conditions you know yeah and after yeah. A lot of talking with Zach and a lot of trying to figure out a plan and uh, a lot of back and forth of whether or not I was just going to remake shit, you know. In August, I finally made the new channel, told people I was quitting and moving on to the new one. Mm-hmm. Got about 20 or so people who, who resubbed right away. Thank you guys. Some people are epic. Uh, I'm still getting people resubbing now who didn't know I switched and, you know, just now cool. figured out. That's really good. Cool. Yeah. Uh, help more people figure that out, obviously. <laughs> uh, and man, like I got to say, in general, one of the scariest things I've ever done, you know, stopping something mm-hmm. that you've worked for five years on and realize that you've essentially, I don't want to say failed, but you've essentially put in all this amount of time and it didn't pay off the way you thought it would. Yeah, that's, right. you know. That's disappointing. I said I started Blue Catch Productions as my last YouTube channel, right? Because I made so many others that didn't work. You Mm -hmm. know, if this didn't work, I would be done, is what I said five years ago. And uh, I think the reason I'm doing the new one is I I legitimately believe it can work and will work. I think so, too. That's just confidence. That's just evolution in content. That's me getting better at shit and... Had I not made the Zelda video like a month ago, who knows if I even would have been tempted to switch, but they definitely push things and the Mario video definitely pushed things. And so looking back on it, you want to point to like the one event, Blue Catch Productions 2021. Yeah, starting starting the channel from the very beginning, obviously played a huge factor uh, for the rest of the year and especially going forward. Definitely, definitely. It's uh, It's still making a new channel is still something I think about doing. Um, cause it's, it, it just feels like the odds are stacked in your favor because you're going into this new channel with all the previous experience that you have. You're yep. making videos that have little to no issues at all. Um, and it's like, that's, that's good. Like that, not, not everybody has the opportunity to do that. Um, because they have that backlog of shit that it took to get there. And I think the 
I think this was a great decision. I'm really interested in seeing how it's going to play out in the next year. I think it's going to be yeah. really cool. Because we're still very early on. Like, I can't really like, give a conclusion right. at the end of this of like, was it a good idea to switch? Ultimately, I'm happy, but I don't know. <laughs> you know? Yeah. I can look back yeah. on it in two years and be like, that was probably a mistake. I don't know. Uh, we're still very early on, which kind of transitions True. us True. into the new channel. So what have I been doing there? Well, the first couple videos was just the Zelda video again, the Mario video again, et cetera. Mm-hmm. And then you've kind of heard the past couple episodes of YouTube podcast, what I've been doing. I remade the secret to the Nintendo Switch's success, just mm-hmm. completely refilmed it, made it a better video. I did the same with Dark Souls, uh, re-uploaded the crossover with some minor edits, re-uploaded the watching childhood videos with minor edits. And now we're here with 30 for 30. I'm trying to get 30 for 30 back. And once again, like Zach said, we've looped around to where we started. Started the year with ending 30 for 30. Ending the year with ending 30 for 30 again. It's really funny. Yeah. Really. I've talked a lot about the the new channel side of things. So I figured I'd just sum it up there. Basically, right. we have 24 right. subs. Video views are anywhere from like 14 to 17. Obviously, the new 30 for 30s are on the lower end as of December 3rd. But... Uh, yeah, expect a lot to happen even in this month alone. Like by the time the, the podcast is over and we're in December, there could be some new developments, the new channel, and you just won't know about it. So that's why you got to yeah. follow me. Link in the description. Yeah. Link, in, link in the description. Absolutely. Check out Blue Cash Productions. Check out Your Everyday Nerd. Uh, don't have too many more options for you guys to kind of follow us on other platforms if you like the podcast over the last few years. So please do Twitter discord i guess you know all that kind of shit all, is, all of it's in the description we'd love to that's gonna be the around. main focus gonna be the main focus for sure love to get but, a comment uh, in like two years and be like you still watch you on another youtube podcast that'd oh, be cool please no <laughs> watch my <laughs> new shit please yeah. yeah i like the old shit i've always liked the old shit yeah, clearly yeah, for sure i wouldn't be for re-uploading sure. it if that wasn't the case but new shit's good too mm-hmm. new shit's good too Overall, Definitely. weird year for Blue Catch Productions. Scary year for Blue Catch Productions. Uh, but I but I say this every year, I guess, so it's not really a surprise. But I always be saying something to the effect of, "This is the year I found myself. You know, it's the year I finally right, have a direction." Right. It was back to the video games, and then it was thirty for thirty, and now it seems to be leaning to these like documentary style videos with a new channel, whatever. Uh, my direction at this point is like video game videos right longer mm-hmm. video game videos with some shorter shit in between some cartoon videos in between because they do well you know but right, right. primarily video games reviewing interesting media you know that's what i'd be saying in, in every in every video and i made it made it my intention with the videos that i have re-uploaded to kind of feature a little bit of everything feature the video game stuff feature the cartoon stuff Feature each one of my friends in their own specific video. We have a Jay one, yeah. a Zach one, an Ethan one, and a Parker one. Uh, so they're all Ramsen's there. Everything's introduced. And the, yeah, Ramsen. Ramsen and the yeah, that's cool. Yeah. Like, got all that shit. You know, I've, I've I've got the 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 building blocks for sure. Next year, such a solid foundation. Then, like two to three years, this shit should just really I pop off. I yeah, hope, man. Hope so Next too. year is mainly like. Uh, I have, once 30 for 30 is out and the Charlie Brown Christmas video, 27 of the original 61 videos that were public on Blue Couch Productions before it went down are going to be out. Mm-hmm. So 27, that's almost half. Not every one of those 61 videos are going to be moved over, obviously. So right. expect at least another couple of months of re-uploading shit. But by, uh, I don't want to make any promises, but like June or July, I should be mostly done re-uploading stuff other than the time specific videos that have to come out at a certain point, like right. another Halloween, another Christmas video, whatever. Hopefully my goal by the end of 2022, I'm not only done re-uploading shit, but I'm working on new stuff and I've had fun remaking stuff, but I, but I worry people get bored or, or don't care or Fair. Uh, yeah. pretend like they've already seen it, even though I've added new footage and shit. Like, I get people don't want to see me talk about the same shit forever and ever, and and, and that's fine. I want to make new shit too, right? But work creatively, with me. I'm sure you want to keep on like moving forward, right? 
You got to work with me for a couple more months. I promise it will not just be me remaking videos to limit time. We're going to move on to new shit. <laughs> for sure. I'm looking forward to it, man. I'm, I'm, it's It's been fun rewatching videos. Because, I mean, we've we've both like gone back and rewatched older videos of ours multiple times. Yeah. Um, it's cool seeing like these new upgraded versions of your old videos. And, of course, I'm looking forward to the new shit. That Dark Souls video slapped. I fucked with it. Heavily. Yeah. So... Yeah. Yeah, really, really cool and interesting year for Blue Couch Productions, I'd say. I can't really give you all, like, how many subs did you gain or how many videos? Right. Like, it's just, it's gone, for one. But uh, <laughs> it'd be hard to tad both of them up, so. We had 24 subs, video views around 14, 17, around that area, etc. Haven't had a right, video right. yet that did better on the new one compared to the old one, but that Mario video is pretty close. Like three yeah, I, I think it'll happen. And again, Easy if you do like ranking all the levels in Super Mario Brothers 3, that'd be a good sequel. Um, talking about some 64 levels or some shit. Like, I don't know. It'd be cool. This will this Stay will tuned. Find out. Stay tuned. Stay tuned indeed. But that's the main channel. That's the main one. Hell yeah. Moving on. Cool. Side projects, bro? Yep. Side project mainly time. mainly the youtube channels right mainly the yeah YouTube stuff. With, without youtube podcast because we already talked about that at the beginning of right the we're right. good on that start us off what do you want to talk about well i figure let's do our other collaborative project right oh the other one Ooh. yeah yikes yeah. i this is the first time i've looked at the channel in a, in a year like i don't remember what our first year uh first video of the year was i'm about to find out I was really hoping it was those Fortnite videos because them bitches slap. But that was the end of 2020. Yeah, it's December. Yeah. Um, it's everything after. Did I even put anything out this year? No, I did. I did. We did a project together on here. It'd be Stardew Valley episode 44. It's the first video of the year. Cool. Because I ended so Breath of the Wild and Mario World on the same day. Yeah. Right, 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 right. So the end of Stardew Valley. Y'all did Finally that. Finally got that shit done. <laughs> that was cool. Had uh, how'd too. you feel it about it? You did have Jay. You had me on there it. a couple times. Yeah, yeah. You were in there for like some weird cameo shit. I played a uh, cow. That was played fun. a cow. It was fun. I, I like Stardew Valley. It was a series that like wasn't expected to go past the eight episode original run, but we just kept playing it and Parker just kept recording it and it progressively yeah. just got funny. And uh, it was a situation where we took something started with very little value and then made it into something cool like it required a bit of work obviously a lot of a lot of recording a lot of scheduling whatever but we turned it into one of my favorite series easily top three you know alongside like breath of the wild and uh fire red you know shit's yeah. up there yeah i still need to watch the whole thing but i've seen a few episodes and like it's great shit like y'all you two parker and 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 Aiden have gone such a long way in terms of like, you know, the kind of a, what am I looking for? Just shows his commentary together, right? Chemistry. Chemistry. Yeah. Your chemistry is like gone up a lot. Just makes her some entertaining conversations. Heck yeah. We got the Phasmophobia series started. You, Parker, and Jay. Yeah. Those were Very fun. cool. It started uh, out like Parker six episodes. And then I, five then I episodes. show up at, at four. Right, right. Uh, you and Kyle did Shadow the Hedgehog for a funny bit, man. And they happen yeah. to do better than like ninety percent. <laughs> Three episodes. It um, technically is a run through of the game, but you can yeah. play Shadow the Hedgehog nine different ways and get nine different endings. So, Damien was disappointed that you're not covering the rest of the endings. I hadn't told done me. all the rest of the ending, bro. It takes like thirty hours, like for I'm a sure. Sonic game. I wouldn't want to do it. Fuck that. I wanted to do the funny one where Eggman dies. And uh, they did that. <laughs> That's how I played Shadow of the Hedgehog. That's my typical playthrough of Shadow of the Hedgehog. Hell yeah. It's like an hour and a half, right? Yeah. Pretty quick. Nice. Pretty quick to get through. And then you're in and out. You don't have to do any of the stupid quests. You just get to the end of the stage. Which yeah. is how Sonic game should be. So. I agree. I, um, I'm not watched quests. it yet. Look forward to watching it one day. I'm sure it'll be cool. Uh, oh. GeoGuessr episode I have also not watched. Jay and uh, Parker. There were several Very of those cool. recorded, to my knowledge, but 
Yeah, but they never went up. Depends on if they ever go up. I don't know. <laughs> There's another like two or three episodes of Phasmophobia that didn't go up either. Yeah, yeah, all the footage is there. Um, but with LHG ending this month, it's uh, it's up to Jay whether or not he wants to put them out or not. I don't care either way. I'm yeah. good. Good either way. They're there. They exist. I'm letting you all know that the audience, they exist. <laughs> was the Mega Man versus last year? It was. Wow. It feels like this year. That's some crazy. That's insane. 2020 was a bigger year for LHG just in terms of uploads and shit. Yeah. Yeah, it was. Um, you got your Celeste playthrough. You did three episodes. Still haven't played cool. more. Loved the game. Um, looks really fun. I've watched the first two of those. Pretty cool. That that series was just an excuse to learn what audio ducking was in DaVinci Resolve. <laughs> right. At least see, at least you got something out of it. Right. And it was it was my my favorite moment of that whole series is just the uh the evil Madeline chasing you. And it just oh, yeah, it just plays cool. the theme the whole time. Mm-hmm. And I say a couple of words and it gets quiet, and then it goes back to the bump and theme. And for a while <laughs> I feel like it did something that most let's plays fail to do where it's like really like getting engaged with the game. You know, it's mm-hmm. always like, oh, it's either just always the commentary or always the gameplay. The audio ducking to me felt like an immersive way to get like a little bit of both, which is which is fun. I agree. I agree with that. Got the Plague Knight Shovel Knight campaign. You think y'all replayed that or is this new shit? I don't so know. Shovel Knight, uh, the base game, we did that, but it has like three right. DLC campaigns. Right. Uh, and we promised the Plague of Shadows one for like years and years and so we finally did that and finished it this year yeah so. nine episodes last episode last video uploaded was the finale to that so true that's true. cool we've got the um resurgence of the f-zero series that was uh it was mainly just uh filler but uh yeah i thought about redoing it and then i'm like the series has a face cam it's kind of funny sure why not it features one of the only videos this year to not have any views. Episode three, for some reason, the rest of them That's all funny. at least have one. Episode three, very you're missing funny. out. Monster Hunter Rise, you and Ethan. Yeah, I think we were episodes. just fucking around, and I decided to record it. And then, um, my favorite video of the year, the only one that features Zack Snyder on the LHG channel. And the only video that doesn't feature Aiden Matthews on the LAC channel in 2021 <laughs> is the uh, Why You So Sus, the podcast featuring Carrie and I. Yeah. Uh, description why, reads Why Zach asked Jay the question, Why You So Sus? Um, it was in reference yeah. to this, this masterpiece of a video. Um, description reads as follows In the inaugural episode of Why You So Sus, Zach asks Parker the titular question, Why You So Sus? I it's remember- the only episode being on vacation when this happened not aware of the build-up not aware of the setup <laughs> i think we talked about it like as a joke like wouldn't it be funny yeah. and then that's the last i heard of it so i'm in my like hotel room <laughs> somewhere in kansas in in bed seeing this gets uploaded to the channel I'm like what the fuck did he actually <laughs> go through with this and then just watching it waiting for parker's reaction and he played it pretty well he played it pretty well yeah i like the editing a lot too it's very immersive. Um, YouTube's got a uh, got a thumbnail suggestion that I kind of want to choose. But, uh, I'll leave it alone. Our only Among Us video on LHG. You never did another one. You know, we did play Among Us either last year or the beginning of this year. I don't really remember. Last year. No, no, it was last year, yeah. Damn, two years of Among Us? What the fuck? Um, but we never played it on the channel. We could have, and we just didn't. Mm. Just fine. I don't care. I'm no, I'm no, uh, no regrets with LHG. We are ending it. I feel like yeah, I, uh, haven't, I haven't made the announcement video because I've just been busy <laughs> with thirty for thirty. But I'm gonna make an announcement video, letting everybody know. Cool. Final, final month. We'll upload stuff if we have it. If not, that's cool. And it ends on December thirty first. That'll be the last day. Everything will still be public. You can still watch everything. They'll all be up there. Yeah. But uh, we're not personally adding more shit to it. You probably could have told that by the fact that the last upload was almost three months ago. So, <laughs> yeah, yeah, thirty-eight videos this year, and I, I mean, you know, we we've talked about how Blue Couch Productions moved into this new era of content with the Zelda video. Uh, Your Everyday Nerd kind of did the same thing with the Disney video. 
kind of a yeah. different type of content that I'm trying to do. Another YouTube podcast ending like LHG. I, I am just a much different person than I am when we started this channel. That's Absolutely. just what it comes down to. It was 2018 when we started this channel <laughs> at a period in time where while we weren't doing let's plays, it was not that long ago when we were doing let's plays. And I was super into it too. Like I was so invested in the beginning of this channel. Um, I pitched started it as a joke Instagram I account. The, the Mario Odyssey verses of all things. <laughs> yeah. I mean, even just the namesake lion's honor is a old remnant of a, of a website that I created in like 2017. Um, and it's just like, I'm so far removed from the identity of that shit. Right. That it just, it just doesn't make any sense to keep doing it. Yeah. No, I mean like we did um, 300 videos. Let's play a shit ton of games. Got farther than any of us on our own ever doing let's plays, other than like Kyle, obviously. Sure. Uh, made some of my favorite let's play content ever. Stardew, yeah. Breath of the Wild, Fire Red, Mega Man Two Versus. There's some series in here that I will be rewatching from time to time. Me too. Me too. But it'll be like one percent of the channel's output. Um, and we've already sort of discussed the issues, but just to reiterate one more time. It's impossible to do a co-op Let's Play channel when there are five people all in different time zones and schedules, all wanting different things out of it, having to pick up like which game should be fun to play, when do we record, the spreadsheets of it all. It eventually just turned into Aiden digging around the hard drive, seeing what he could upload to keep the channel afloat. <laughs> and this was the year where I finally went, I'm not going to bother trying to keep it afloat anymore. You know? Yeah. Yeah, we talked about it a lot. We talked about it so much, both on the podcast and off, and it just made sense. Yep. For for those that are interested, by the way, we did some statistics back in like July. And other than anything that came out in July, or I guess August through the December, um, Aiden was in 288 videos, 79% of the channel. Yeah. Um, I was in 112 videos, which is 30%. Parker was in 86 videos, which is 23%. Jay was in 85, also 23%. And then Kyle was in 67 videos, which was 18%. Um, and then we've got other statistics for the people that featured in the videos. But like that's your breakdown right there. Aiden put way more effort in this channel. Um in terms of its longevity than anybody else did. It would have ended it's, last it's, year had I not like bothered. Yeah. Yeah. I believe last year I even hit up you guys and was like, I'm done with LHG. You're personally done. Yeah. I'm like, I'm personally. Which is why finished. there's not exact content this year other than when we caught him on right. cameos or when he had a really dumb idea that didn't go anywhere else. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Um, but I, I'm happy with what we did, man. I'm, I, yeah. I like the content that I like some of the content that came out of it and uh, it was a cool experience. It's something this is the, the first know. group or otherwise let's play channel that I'm ending on a good note, you know, say I've had like so not many only throughout high school and shit that ended on bad blood or only 12. Yeah. Years in. This yeah. is the most successful right here. 75 subs, 300 videos, four years, like 2018 to now, like insane. That, that, and that even got to that point. we're still friends. We still, friends. still do things with each other that are not this Let's Play channel. And that's really We cool all me. mutually agreed to end it. And nobody is leaving on bad terms. We're still going to talk to yeah. each other. Still going to make videos. Mm. Some of us might even still do Let's Plays. Not me, but somebody. <laughs> you know? Not me either. But. it's It's funny that like we had come to the decision to end YouTube podcast and LHG at around the same time. And while mine and Zach's conversations have been all about like, I can't believe YouTube podcast is ending or when are we were going to record the final episodes. We have not talked about LHG ending since we actually, <laughs> ended it. since we made the decision to end it, we have not spoken about it in the past several months. And that's felt good. I forget. Now, about I don't want to be, me, <laughs> you know, haha, putting down, <coughs> It's felt good. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I agree. I agree. And I'm proud of it. Like Zach said, there's some st shit I'm going to rewatch. I'm ready to move on. And I think Zach was several years ago ready to move on. So 
Yeah, yeah. I had voiced my opinions on making the channel either better or more purposeful. I remember we had we had a meeting where I was like, so <laughs> for the we've 2020 content, well. we have, we have. But I remember specific meeting we had last year where I was like, instead of just putting up random shit on the channel, I feel like we need to have a purpose or a direction for every Let's Play that we do. Uh, Cause I didn't want to do any more fire emblem let's plays. Cause I had no connection to fire emblem. So I was like, I'm not bringing anything to the table here. Um, and we talked about it and we had a bunch of plans and then like, I just didn't care to do let's plays anymore. I was like, I'm, I'm done, man. Um, and I, I showed up in a couple of series as little cameos. We did the mega man versus, which is really cool. Um, all in one night too. All in one night after felling the mega man X versus, you know, so yeah. I think we did a I, YouTube podcast that day yeah. as well. Like we were really packed. Probably. Probably. Yeah. So I'm happy with how it turned out, you know, and I have been for a while. I, I don't even, I think for a lot of projects, I'm like, man, I wish they'd done better. I don't, I don't care. I think I got out of we it kinda, what I needed to get out of it. You know, we kind of overachieved expectations on that. one. I agree. Yeah. I agree. Uh, 2012, this channel would have killed it. <laughs> yeah. hundred percent. Just uh, it's 2021, and that is not but where we're at anymore. That was that's the thing. It's like even if we figured out the scheduling, and even if we figured out what games to play, neither mm. you, me, or Jay wants to do let's plays anymore. Honestly, no. no. Uh, Jay might want to do verses. You might want to do like very specific challenge runs potentially, but like yeah, the yeah. typical let's play where you sit and talk while playing a game, man, like you think four years is a long time. Think about doing it for like eight to 10 before LHG, you know, and then you can kind of understand where we're coming from, where we're like done. It's not like we just up and drops. So it's just like, I don't want to do let's play. We've been doing this shit for almost a decade. <laughs> Yeah. You'd yeah, be tired absolutely. of it too by now. <laughs> it makes sense. It makes sense. I got tired of doing marching band for 10 years. Yeah. And I don't play my instrument as much as I used to. And I hope to at some point, but let's play as this man, like just did so much of it in such a short period of time that it's like, we've moved on, moved on different person. Like I said, um, crazy shit. So I agree. What do we got next on the docket, bro? What's the next side project you wanna you wanna talk about? I wanna talk about the personal podcast a little bit. Uh, in the midst of doing all these episodes of YouTube podcasts, I have also been keeping up my personal one, Aiden on Anchor. Currently, mm-hmm. at the time of listening, it's at episode ninety one. Might still be. <laughs> Who knows if I actually <laughs> do more? Imagine. But uh. I'm looking real quick. My first episode of the year was, uh, no, that can't be right. Yeah, it's not. Okay, hold up. I thought it was episode 36. That would be insane. It's not. (laughs) It's episode 70. Episode 70 to now. So about 20, 20 plus episodes, which is a pretty, pretty standard year for Aiden on Anchor. Basically talking about all the shit we've been talking about as they were happening, as well as weird fun shit like patreon requests where i talk about family guy or fucking (laughs) music i'm listening to we did an hour-long episode where me and ethan just debate pokemon for an hour and that was i swear to god that was supposed to be 20 minutes (laughs) but we got so heated arguing about fucking pokemon of all things i just uploaded i just said fuck it you know i listened to the whole thing this is funny i like it i like it a lot talked about e3 talked about a, a lot of interesting shit Ain't not anchors is fun to do, man. I started it around the same time as, as YouTube podcast. Remember, YouTube podcast is, is work. Ain't not anchor is like we turn on the microphone and fucking talk about shit for twenty minutes. It's a good way to just vent, just vent shit out of the ether. And uh, the fact that people still listen to it, the fact that I have an audience of six people, eleven unique listeners in the last seven days. 1,915 plays all time. We're going to have like fucking 2,000 views by the time we reach episode 100. That's insane. Yeah, that's that's insane. insane. That's really And all the top episodes are some of the ones I did this year. It's pretty (laughs) cool. 
I, as you know, I think I'm probably the Aiden on Anchor biggest fan, right? Biggest stand. Maybe. Biggest stand, for sure, for sure. I think I, um, I've listened to every episode. I usually listen to them on day one. Be popping off with some Aiden on Anchor. And uh, it's not like, obviously, it's probably not my favorite ep- my favorite project you've done this year. You know, with, with Yen, or not Yen, 30 for 30 coming back and with the new videos on Blue Couch Productions, all that shit's dope. But, uh, yeah, I, I, I love Aiden on Anchor, you know? It's just fun. You should be talking about shit, and I'm like, hell yeah, bro. Talk about some shit. One of the few things going into the new year where I don't, like, have any major plans for it. I'm just going to be yeah. doing more. I'm going to be doing more of them. They're fun to do. I like doing them. They require very little work. The only thing I've done this year was add, like, an intro and outro theme. So there's music when you, you know, right. click right. on Aiden on Anchor. The, the rebrand happened, I think, last year. The new like look that was designed by Ramson that was very cool of them, right? Uh, right. Those are the major changes. It's still available on all the podcast platforms. If you just want to hear Aiden talk, it's nothing like YouTube podcasts. So I doubt fans of of this podcast would like Aiden on Anchor all that much, but it's there if you want to if you want to listen to it. It's mainly I for, would uh, say people who fuck with me. You know, like if you fuck with yeah. me, you fuck with Aiden on Anchor. That's how it goes. I would say if you like the Your Week on YouTube episodes, um, any Aiden on Anchor episode where he's talking about anything YouTube related or content creation related or whatever, um, some more behind the scenes on the on his videos, you'll fuck with those. And then after that, the Q and A episodes are a must listen for sure. Yeah, be, yeah, because those be are always really some, funny. <laughs> right like we have some like pretty good questions and then there's like some dog shit questions and i've put in some dog shit questions on purpose just to get aiden's reaction um and they're some fun. Of my funniest yeah, shit this okay. year i think was just finding cool ways to respond to shit you know i agree it's I asked uh, him what his favorite type of cheese was recently yeah go listen to the episode you'll find out you'll find out you'll find out but it's essentially questions on the couch you know it's the it's the way it's lived on is through through Aiden on Anchor shit. So I'm always happy that people are listening to them. I'll keep doing it as long as people want to listen to them. They're, uh, they're fun to do. And I'm hyped to reach episode hundred. Hyped to reach episode hundred soon. That'll be dope. You'll hit it. You'll hit it very soon. So yeah, hyped to see that shit, man. In terms of age demographics, in case you're wondering, uh, sure. Throw that out. 0% in zero to 17, 35 to 44 and 60 plus. 1%. In 28 to 34 and 45 to 59. Okay. Second highest, 13%, 18 to 22. Right. 86% in 23 to 27. That four-year range, 86%. Interesting. Of I mean, that's where I'm at, right? That's where I'm at. Every episode, so. Cool. That's dope. Heck yeah. Well. Talk about your podcast. Um, the come up, you know. Similar thing to Aiden on Anchor. Started it uh, not too far away from the time you started Aiden on Anchor. Very similar times. Um, and I think this like year, a year I later maybe yeah, 2018. February 2019. Oh, two years. Never mind. Is uh yeah because it was that when whenever IGTV release. <laughs> IGTV. Remember that shit? Yeah. We had a whole episode on that shit. Okay, June 2018. That was oh yeah, a started. year, about a year, and then it came over to Anchor in 2019. So uh, it was a podcast talking about my life as well, talking about the pros, the cons, the good, the bad, the ugly. Uh, unfortunately, as I was progressing through these episodes, I noticed a certain pattern where I would talk about being depressed, mm. and then um, that was what the podcast ended up being. I talk about a lot of negatives and every once in a while you have a podcast where they're like, Oh, I'm doing this cool project. I'm working with this new client. I'm, you know, something good is happening. Cool. Um, but, but, but lo and behold, 2020 man was just, oof, lots of, lots of just depressing shit. So I stopped doing the podcast in May of 2020 for a while, just cause I wasn't happy with it. And then 2021, January 30th, I came back. I was like making a new return. We got kind of a new, um, it's, it's a different podcast really at that yeah. point onwards. Yeah. Um, I, I do an episode talking about fucking with the stock market and cryptocurrency and then Pokemon related shit because I was started working with deep pocket monster 
So that was cool. Uh, did a January movie wrap up, did a February movie wrap up. I think I did that till April. Um, so lots of, lots of movie opinions. We got Nintendo direct, we got E3, we got talking about some articles that I was reading, which I had kind of started with 2020, but went to 2021 a little bit more into that shit. Uh, and then it got to be about, I, I was, I was doing fine until June and then August hit and I was like, I like doing this podcast, but I don't love it anymore. And I feel yeah. like everything that I was talking about in the podcast, you get anywhere else. Right. Right. Um, you can get it from Twitter. You can get it from my link, my, my letterbox, uh, you get it from the YouTube podcast, all that kind of stuff. So I decided to end, end it with a finale on August 25th, episode 42. Um, 13 episodes came out. 2021 it's not bad it's fine uh but but you know what i'm cool with it i'm happy with with what i did with it not nearly as successful as aiden on anchor <laughs> well, not few things are zachary not few things are as, are as epic as aiden. For, sure. for sure i think i have two listeners of the come up maybe yeah. three i know you listen to it i know jay listened to it i think calfro told me he listened to it so it was a mega stand that's cool. Um, I like doing it. Um, with another YouTube podcast ending very, very soon, there is the potential for me to do another personal podcast in the future. Mm. But um, I, I, I almost feel like I either need to just not worry about having some kind of theme and just do whatever the fuck I want or like really just have a theme to it. Because I don't know. The whole... We, we, we talked about it on the podcast, but like, I, I don't like to talk about too many personal things on the internet anymore. But right. Like there's a right. certain, uh, there. certain boundaries I need to like put in place that I didn't used to have. Um, and then on top of that, like I said, there's other platforms you can get my movie opinions. Don't need to listen to me talk about it. You can read every movie I've ever seen in the last three years. I've got reviews of it on, on a letter that corn out the letterbox again, bro. Just Damn. saying, bro. Letterbox was a big part of my 2021. I'm tired of pretending like it wasn't. Okay. <laughs> um, I like motion pictures. I like reviewing them on that platform. So I put it, uh, I put my letterbox in like the links that you get at the bottom of like everything I do. So yeah, I replaced yeah. one of them for me. I was like, well, if I'm going to be linking shit in there, I might as well just throw in the letterbox for fun. Fantastic platform. Love everything about it. Um, but, but yeah, I mean, I, I don't know. I don't really know what else to say about the come up. I'm happy I did it. It's a, it's another one of those things where like when I started it, I'm a much different person than I am now. Yeah. I used to be into the whole entrepreneur lifestyle thing and trying to grind and talk about it. And like, I don't, I don't fucking care no more. <laughs> be about that shit. In general. I just want to create cool uh, shit. In general, this was the year where we where we ended a lot of podcasts, YouTube podcasts, right? Come up, you were a part of several with Jay that have kind of you know gone. Yeah, um, Titans in the trash bin, kind of finished. We did a season last year. We were going to do another one, didn't end up doing it. Um, we did something for Walker. We were going to talk about CW's Walker. We did like a few episodes and then stopped. I think we did like ten episodes actually. Uh but that show was just, it's just boring. Uh, not enough material there. I think that's it. I think that's the main ones. Unless I'm forgetting something. Yeah. But no, you've listed them all. I love doing podcasts and I want to do more in the future. So it'll be really weird to go into 2022, not doing a podcast. Not any of them, bro. You don't have none. I don't have a singular podcast. I'll be doing in 2022. So that either means, cool just no podcast or i'm gonna come up with something wacky out of nowhere and do it you'll start six in 2022 baby Whew, i tried that in 2019 that's not happening yeah, we <laughs> again did. we did actually yeah it's true. it'd be cool I'm only gonna to be, be having like, one yeah i have an eight on anchor so you know you know a few years else. ago i was like yeah i i run multiple youtube channels multiple podcasts i stream i write articles music blah 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 now I think it'd be cool to be like, I run your everyday nerd. I do a podcast. I stream occasionally. 
I'm That's cool it. with that. That's all I can, you know. Here you go. Comedy Let's music sometimes. Down. There it it's is. There. Letterbox. Go to Letterbox. Let, let me tell you about the Letterbox. Hey, though. Zack Snyder Pride. <laughs> when those Zack's Harry Potter opinions, bro, he got them. Bro, I saw the first three Harry Potter movies recently. And they're Nuts. bad. What the hell? Nuts. Zach wants a letterbox podcast is what he's telling me here. These are hints. I could do a movie podcast tomorrow pretty easily. He'd be, be wanting to talk about film pretty way easy. more than, than YouTube these days. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. You might see 2022 Your Everyday Nerd rebranded into a movie channel. Like, I don't know. It could happen. Everyday Film Cuck instead. Has a nice ring to it, I think. I like that. Let me write that down. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah that's pretty much it for the podcast stepping back a lot and even with a non-anchor a it never had a schedule anyway i'm gonna be honest <laughs> with you so it's gonna be whenever i whenever i feel like doing them i'm in no rush obviously mm-hmm. i want to hit episode 100 but then what you know i'm gonna hit episode 100 and then we go go back to doing what i've been doing and just talk about whatever should interest me uh i get worried with that podcast sometimes that there's like nothing new so why am i recording it so typically, mm-hmm. like, I, I like saving them for E3s, events, current news, or, hey, I did a thing, you know, and then can talk about the thing they did. You know, I, yeah. I don't like making any non-anchors to make them for filler, and I don't have to, which is the cool thing. You know, Absolutely. Not rushed. That's what I did with the come up for a while, and that was one of the reasons I kind of burned out on it. Yeah. So, I get it. All right. So two cool. more things. Two more. What we got next? What we got next? Comedy music? We'll do comedy. We'll do comedy music. Um, I put out a song. Damn. I I made some other songs that have not come out yet, but I released one song called Isolated. So it's talking about being trapped in the bathroom taking a shit. So, <laughs> um, but I will say, cool thing that happened this year for me, I did buy a MIDI keyboard. He did, um, yeah. And so this song was completely produced by me, made all the, the instrumental shit. And I got a couple of other songs like that. And hopefully at some point in the next year, I'll have an album come out like that. That'd be cool. That'd be really fun. Yeah. Cause you know, Parker's working on something similar where he, like he's producing all the shit. Yeah. And like, making all the music yeah. for it. I wish I was that like talented to just be able to do that shit. I'm going to be using stock beats for the rest of my life. <laughs> Sit down and learn how to use like FL Studio or some shit. Are you you're gonna learn it one day. I think you're gonna get too deep into it. Like let's probably play like the way I'm shit. interested in. I'm, I'm fucking watching a coffee channel. Did I tell you that shit. No, James Hoffman. For oh, no shit? other reason than like I, I saw one of his videos. I watched it. I'm like, this is really chill. This is really nice. I don't know shit about coffee, but you tell me about that fucking espresso. Aldi machine. made espresso martini cheese. Why? I watch that one. I have not, no. not seen that one. But it's just a man who clearly knows way the fuck too much about coffee and is passionate yeah. about it, and it's just a chill it. dude. I'll fall asleep to that shit, bro. I love it. I uh, did some videos for a dude on uh, LinkedIn that was doing coffee-related shit. It's interesting. Oh, yeah. I get it. I, it's I, really funny. The, the point of that to be, like, it would not surprise me if one year I was just like, I'm going to make my own music and just learn FL Studio for, like, 100%. Months. You know, it would not be a shock that Aiden would go down a rabbit hole like that. Absolutely. I might go down a rabbit hole learning how to write a book, you know? I don't want to. Yeah. Hate writing. (laughs) But maybe. True. Maybe in the future, for sure. Uh, Comedy music for me was was good. Put out four albums this year. Great. Uh, A lot of experimental shit. Songs for My Bros and Hoes was released back in March. Four kind of comedy bangers. Four more serious songs, all kind of bundled up together. Uh, favorite tracks for me, Hours and Hours, I Love to Say Goodbye. And then on the comedy side, like fucking When the Imposter is Sus. I just made an Among Us rap this year. Did y'all know that? <laughs> made Among Us music. And it bang. And you should listen to it. My favorite track on the album is called Jay's Song. It's track number seven of eight. You would. three minutes would like and 20 that. seconds. The best thing Aiden's done all year. No. Zelda video ain't got nothing on no. Jay song. Just spit bullshit out for three minutes. It's not quote the best <laughs> I've ever done. It did end up on the next project that I released. Let's go. In May 17th. The greatest hits. Wow, Let's go. you really have that many? When you make a hundred songs, turns out you have some favorites. Uh and here are twenty of them that were voted on by the fans, you know, the homies, oh, the fangirls, for sure. Picking Stand. the best 
from each album and putting them together. There's already some songs I would switch out and put with the newer shit. Um, so it's Same. a little dated on that front, Same. obviously. But if you want like a collective, I don't really want to listen to Aiden's comedy music. Can you just give me like one project? I can get the gist. The greatest hits. That's that's what you do. If you find something Absolutely. you like, maybe you check out the other stuff. But it's more representative of, of the of the earlier you know things. Less of the serious stuff, but more of the comedic goofy shit. And I put into yeah. butt on there, which was featured the butt on a on a, on a Jay the great, Zoomster record. Great track. But, I, but I threw it on here as a little bonus, a little bonus over an hour track. long of music. The only one very that based. long, very, very one based. Long. A lot of these are shorter, but you know, twenty tracks that'll do that to you. I would not listen to it all at once. I try to give me a headache. Maybe like split, it. <laughs> you know, split up the listens for sure. Listen to the first ten. Come back. Listen to the second ten. It's varying audio quality, Enjoy. varied singing quality. It, it really is a toss-up, song to song, for sure. I can't promise you'll like all 20. I'll promise you you'll like one. <laughs> yeah. you like one of these. J-Song. I just don't know which one. It's not J-Song. It's just anything other than J-Song. Mm. And then uh, we I made another EP right after that. Yeah. Like in July. The EP of 1812. Very fun project. Uh, Great some, album cover. It, it, it's <laughs> I made that five minutes. It just says, "Oh shit, we fucked up. Who invited the British?" And it's just the White House burning down. Uh, <laughs> took like two seconds, but a very very epic cover. Basically, this one's um, a little weird in that the first half is like rap shit, Rainbow Flow, Blackberry Lemonade, Problems. It's more comedic, more goofy, mm-hmm. and then five through eight is what I would call like folk slower songs. Uh, waiting being my favorite of of the of the album, probably probably in my top three of this year. I have two other songs I like. Interesting, more, but definitely my favorite from this one. Bitchy Ugly is a classic guitar ballad. Fantastic Let me know. Pop punk banger that I just stole the lyrics from a comment. Forgot on, on the about beat that one. Yeah. To. And I don't want to live forever. A song about dying. Always a fun time. Very brief. Uh, <laughs> And then that's EP AT12. I enjoyed it. Very fun. I, I like all my projects. I don't have like a least favorite of this year. Uh, all the all the new shit I put out, I, sure. I enjoyed. And then the final one, released in October, World War II, a sequel. The only actual new album. I put out two EPs in a collection, you know? This is the actual oh, yeah. only new album. And uh, it features my two favorite songs of the year, Coochie Domain being number one <laughs> and complicated fantastic. being number two also fantastic more. definitely I, uh, more like rap aiden a lot more rap aiden on this one than usual i think except for one track on this album i think it's my favorite album of yours one track my track? One yeah track after track? party track nine Damn. four minutes and ten seconds of you fucking singing after party by don tolliver <laughs> Uh, who by the way decision. released a 2021 album this year and it is he did. boring i bet yeah so he got one flow um, yeah complicated it's fantastic my only dad is such a funny concept yeah and you did it perfectly oh to the bestie be be hit me in the heart bro He's so so wholesome really Love and the, the haters was fun to work on with you that was really yeah. cool I'm um, Coochie Domain, one of your best tracks for sure. Will of Bitches is funny. Um, I feel like I liked Better Times and Cozy a good bit too. I just can't remember the serious songs as much because I'm a hack. So Those are the two serious ones. You know. That's it. The rest of them are common. I, but I remember telling you after listening to this that they were my favorite serious songs by you. Um, and and if I if I could say one thing that you've improved on this year in terms of this music is like your, your vocal. Your vocals have yeah. been yeah. like a kind of a new level, which has been really cool. Like on the rap side alone, mm-hmm. I've yeah. vastly enjoyed Definitely. some of the newer shit I've put out this year. I've like this is the year where I felt like I've been doing rap and comedy songs for a while. This one I was like, I could really see myself doing this in like five years. This is really fun. This is really fun. Yeah. I don't feel any pressure to continue to do it, but I always feel like I'm getting better each time. Because the truth is like you, I, Jay and Parker creating this comedy music. None of us are particularly good yeah. at this, right? We got our strings, you know, 
Some of us are better at writing lyrics. Some of us, some of us are better at the, the musical shit. There's our strengths. Some of us are better at singing. Um, but I think we've all kind of improved on some, some areas, which is cool. Yeah. I would probably improve more if I made more shit, but like I've heard you guys release really shit. And like, I think out of all of us, I think you've improved the most in terms of the comedy music. Thanks, bro. Cause look you where you the- came from. Damn. Damn. Holy shit. A trash. I'm just, I'm joking. I'm joking. It wasn't uh, it wasn't intentional to put out four projects. The, the way the comedy music always works is like I get inspired, mm-hmm. record some songs. I have enough for an album. I put out the album, and sometimes that produces good shit, like Great Molasses Flood. And sometimes it produces a Vancouver Gang War. You really don't know what you're gonna get. But I feel like this year, <laughs> it's uh, like a better album cover for that too. Yeah, new oh, cover man. for that. Thanks to Jay. But I think partially the EPs really help like slim things down and give it a bit more of a focus, making them some of my better projects. But then when I finally did the album, that was a that was a fun comeback as well. Uh, I just had a lot of shit to talk about this year for for music, and I don't have anything planned anytime soon, as always. But it wouldn't surprise me if I did another two or three albums next year as well. They're really fun to do. I'm trying to start a band with yeah. Parker actually, but he uh, he'd be a hater. <laughs> he'd be a hater. So. And worked yeah. out unfortunately on that one. They already got the logo and the name picked out too, which yeah. is unfortunate. So. And I don't want to spoil it because, like, sure. you know, when the when the tour when the tour be happening across the U.S., <laughs> I don't want that to be kind of like, oh wow, they're touring. Yeah, that's so Aiden from the name. another YouTube podcast. It's crazy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah for sure. When for you sure. hear the name, it's gonna click with you, and you're gonna be like, that makes perfect sense. What a great yeah, fit. Absolutely. You know. Absolutely. I just wish Parker felt the felt the same way. Unfortunately. Yeah, well, you know, you make better friends, I guess. True. What you gonna true, do? True. true. What you gonna do? Again, the cholera, like, it's really affected his mood. I think, sort of the the output for sure. It's unfortunate. Hope that man doing all right. Hope that makes. I hope sense. so too. I hope so too. Um, but yeah, you know, comedy music was fun this year. To it's fun every year. M- mostly <laughs> just to listen to you guys. Exactly, it's fun every year. Um, I, I'm hoping to put out another full length album before I die. Um, last <laughs> album came out goal. 2019 <laughs> and my EP was last year, which I liked. It was fun, you know, um, but it'd be cool to make another album before I die. Be just cool. before I die. Not next year. Yeah. Next year. Just eventually, you know? Yeah. It's Not totally right. fine. I'm just saying. It's totally epic. It's a side project for a reason. So yeah. In the pure sense of the word. Just on the side. Absolutely. All right. Well, one more. One more thing. What you got? Talking about streaming? Yeah. Well, I got another thing, bro. Well, I guess it's kind of one what of them's kind of tied saying? to streaming. Is so I got the, the personal channel. Oh, <laughs> uh, got the personal channel. channel. Yeah. Yeah. Let's talk out, about the personal channel first. Actually, let's let's talk about put on five videos, um, all within <laughs> the same month. Yo, is that a really, is that a really inspiring, uh, was it June or July? June, very inspiring June. Um, decided to talk about Papa John's pizza again uh, for four and a half minutes. Yep. And then um, E3 was right around the corner. So I made a predictions video called top nine most epicest E3 2021 predictions. Two and a half minutes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah you could probably tell the vibe of that one and then uh, a couple of days later e3 was finished so best thing to do react to my e3 2021 predictions hilarious um, also two and a half minutes uh then i did a 25 minute video where i talked about every game announced at e3 that also became a come up episode of the podcast who cares uh and then i bought 10 random shirts from a website and did a two minute video reacting to what those shirts was. It was funny. I liked it. Very funny. I like video. making it. Um, hoping to do more shit like this in the future. But in what capacity? I have no idea. Because uh, I was going to bring back the Let's Talk About It series where I talk about things based on Patreon suggestions. Mm-hmm. But I got lazy. Uh, had other priorities so i stopped doing it for a while by a while i mean like a year and a half now 
but uh, who knows? <laughs> Maybe I'll bring it back. Lots of really interesting shit I've done on the personal channel over the last couple of years. And you stuff that I to expect. could do more sure. of. Yeah, I agree. I think I had so, a more fun watching the old catalog of shit on the personal channel hidden away in the playlist <laughs> than, I sure. did the, uh, than I did the new shit. And the new shit's sure. fun, as always. It's always like a fun little treat to get just some random ass personal channel video. Yeah. But then I forget about it and don't expect it for a while. And then I'm like, oh, wait. He does this, and then I watch a new video and I get happy again. So it'd be a cool channel if I did that like once a week or something. I don't know. Yeah, and that'd be a concept. personal content's really fun. I thought about making a personal yeah. channel this year. I didn't go through with it just because yeah. got too much shit going on. But hey, all these projects are ending. Mm. Maybe wink, mm. wink, nudge, nudge. Maybe, maybe. who knows? Because it's not who so knows? much as a like time or energy thing when it comes to dropping some projects and picking up some new stuff. It's more of like a less guilt, yeah. right? Like if we don't do less another YouTube podcast, right, right. If we got two months where we're not doing another YouTube podcast, uh, that doesn't mean I got two months where I'm working on the personal channel. And yet it means I got two months where I'm guilty that we didn't work on another YouTube podcast. Yeah. Um, so hopefully this will mean less guilt I can just kind of do shit just to do shit. And that'd be cool. Mm. Anyways, that was the personal channel. You want to talk about your other channel real quick? Well, I mean, that can tie into to Twitch streams, right? Cause oh, because you moved that shit over. Yeah yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, that's a good point, actually. All right, so streaming, the final thing. Why'd you save streaming toward the end? I don't know. We already did the main channel shit first, I guess. So Yeah. Made the most sense out of what was left to end it. But also, I feel like we spent a good portion of this year on another YouTube podcast talking about Twitch streaming what place it has in our lives the sort of yeah, back and definitely. forth it's been a very interesting year for live streams uh all around so it kind of kind of makes sense it's the final thing we're talking about we talked about a lot of twitch scandals this year too yeah talk yeah, about twitch the youtube lot news Oof, lots of twitch shit so lots yeah of what do but we how'd actually your, do how'd your streaming go bro what'd you do so i looked up on a twitch tracker because i forget and of course twitch doesn't let you keep your VODs. Very cool. Um, Imagine. To see what I did this year. And apparently, uh, I finished Minecraft this year. Based. That was cool. Never, never played Minecraft all the way through. Finally beat it. Uh, did Mario Kart Wii. A lot of good yeah. clips came yeah. out of that shit. Had Ethan play it for a little bit. That was fun. Uh, apparently, I streamed Monster Hunter Rise for like an hour or something. Didn't remember <laughs> doing that. Yeah, you had Ethan stream it. Yeah. It was that like eight hour day or some shit where you were just dicking around and then top 50 games. Remember? Yeah. Top 50 games. We did that. I finally finished my list. Cool. Base, base, base. I actually said I was going to finish it. I did. Uh, Played and beat through Mario Galaxy on the Switch. Kind of a callback because I did uh, Mario Galaxy 2 to start the Twitch streams or the revitalization of it. Mm -hmm. So that was cool. Uh, And then I spent a lot of this year just sort of watching YouTube videos on stream. A lot of reaction stuff. Yeah. yeah I see a lot of people doing it. It looks fun. I have a lot of opinions on YouTube shit, obviously. And it's a cool way to have like other people involved in it and like suggesting shit and watching shit I never would have seen. If I do more Twitch streams, best believe that a lot of it is going to be that. Mm-hmm. Gameplay stuff will obviously still have a focus. There's still games I want to be. It's the primary way I play games. If I can beat Tech Mobile on stream, like, you know, you obviously... Did. There, there's, I was there for most of it. There's games I want to play, but the reacting to YouTube shit is very fun for me. Very fun. Yeah, it's cool to watch. I mean, I um, I'm not much of a stream watcher. I mentioned it before, mm. but um, when when I get that notification that Blue Cash Productions is streaming, I try to be there. Yeah, and uh, I usually have a good time. So, I appreciate yeah, that. definitely, definitely recommend. A- Hitting up the a channel. decrease in streams because I started the the new Twitch sure. shit back in November. Streamed a lot in November, a lot in December, but obviously mm-hmm. I hadn't streamed most of 2019 up until that point. 2020, right. I did a shit ton of streams, shit ton, uh, mm-hmm. more than I can count on here. And then it kind of slowed down toward uh, November, December, and then for this year I did like a stream a month, basically one in January, mm-hmm. one in February, two in March, three in April. Uh, May, August, I did the Tech Mobile one in October, 
I think. Mm-hmm. Um, and then didn't do one in November. Now it's December. I want to play like Peggle. I want to play Portal at some point. Hell yeah. I've talked about doing Hades for forever. I finally have Hades. I want to react to more yeah. YouTube shit. I'm hoping that that stream deck, if if it is cool, will motivate me to do a little bit more streaming because I enjoy it a lot. But it's always a thing where like I make a lot of good shit on stream. I feel like I'm really funny and like uh, it's a skill that I have. But then when I'm done, it's done. You know, mm-hmm. when I'm done. Yeah. It's done, and I can't put it anywhere, and it didn't go anywhere. So it's just like if you were there, it's cool. But the only remnant I have. And the only, only way I can tell what I did is Twitch tracker and then the clips. There's so many yeah. funny fucking clips in this discord <laughs> that remind <laughs> me that, oh, yeah, I did stream and I have a lot of cool moments of finishing Minecraft, of Ethan saying stupid shit, tech mobile, video game list, reviews, all this sort of shit. I did. A, I did. I did do things. In 2021 streaming, just not as much, unfortunately. And I, I like to I like to reverse that in 2022. And again, maybe have a channel to put the VODs on so they <gasps> don't go into the fucking ether. Who knows? That'd be cool. Maybe. Ooh. Not promising anything. I'm still not sure on it myself, to be honest. But I've thought about it, you know, obviously. I think the funny thing, it's not funny. It's just interesting. Like, you know, we talked about the wrap up of 2020 last year. And you kind of mentioned, you predicted that 2021 would be a big year for streaming. And it was in terms of the industry. Like we got a lot of streaming news from Twitch and YouTube. And I mean, motherfuckers moving from one platform to the next and all that. Big year. Um, But but you had kind of expected that you were going to go all in on it for a little bit. You'd thought about it. Um, Yeah. And uh, the Blue Cash Productions YouTube channel stuff kind of took more precedent. And I think it's better for that. You made some some good strides in there. But um, now that that's kind of, now that you got the new channel underway, I think 2022 could be cool with streaming. Who knows? We'll see. Well, it was also a thing where a lot happened in the industry, but a lot of what was happening in the industry right. impacted my decision to stream. You know? It wasn't good shit, right? It wasn't good shit. So it's yeah. not like I really had a whole lot of motivation that I felt that I was putting it in the right direction. Mm-hmm. And, uh... You know, that definitely hurt. That hurt a lot of the time. But uh, I sure. think like you said, too, Blue Couch Productions is taking a lot of the priority. If I'm not spending time editing, it's really hard to, to justify being like, let's just go on stream for four hours. And I have fun when I do. But, you know, Blue Couch Productions restarting, it really would not be a good time to just go fuck around on Twitch for four months and only have one video available. Right. Priorities are, are a thing, for sure. But I'd like I'd like to stream more in 2022, obviously. For sure. Well, um, I don't want to stream in 2022. So <laughs> no stream. Probably just effort. won't. That's, um, that's not entirely true. I, I like streaming a lot still. It's just become such a low priority on the totem pole that I just don't. Like, I'm just not putting any effort into it right now. But again, mm-hmm. cool with that. But um, what, was, what was crazy was 2020, I started Zack Snyder Plays TM. I was like... I'm done with Let's Plays, but not really. So I was like, I'm going to do Let's Plays again by myself. Um, and I did a little bit in like a month or two of uploads. And then uh, August 20... No, what was it? December 2020? No, so from May to August of 2020, I didn't upload anything. Came back August 2020, was uploading some shit. And then September 2020 hit, and I was like, I'm going to start putting my live streams over here. Because I was streaming again. And that is the direction that the channel took in 2021. Um, every video uploaded in 2021 was a live stream archive video. Uh, right. Some of them were older live streams where it was like, here's my full playthrough of what remains of Edith Finch. Or here's my whole Stanley Parable playthrough. Here's that. Um, I've got a Clue Clue Land stream thing from 2019 that I uploaded. Full Katamari Damacy stream from 2020. But but it was really like all the new shit. Um, if I played a game on on Twitch, it was gonna go to the Zack Snyder plays automatically. Um, but also, I was thinking about rebranding the Twitch streams. I was like, I want to make it a, I want to make it a thing that makes sense, not just be a guy that streams games, right? Have some kind of branding behind it. 
I created a show. I created the Zack Snyder show. Um, and for like March and April, of, it was March, just March, just March, <laughs> just March. I streamed like 13 times. Ew. So that was cool. Um, it was like a, it's like a two or three times a week kind of thing. Had like an actual schedule was streaming for like four to five hours. And then I would take those streams and cut them up into the different game segments that I played. And so you just get like a fall guy season four stream or video where it's like 45 minutes or, um, I started playing Pokemon blue. I mean, uh, let me go through the streams. I did I opened Pokemon cards and played Fortnite on my birthday. That's funny. <laughs> um, I did a Sporkle quiz. How many Pokemon can I name? Generations one through eight. That was funny. Uh, played Animal Crossing again. Played through most of Pokemon Blue. Um, that game came to be a, a challenge because it's not particularly good. But uh, played through a lot of it. That. Yeah, right. Uh, played through the Goose Game, Untitled Goose Game. Streamed all of that, which is cool. Um, streamed an entire campaign from Civ Five, which uh was cool at the beginning and then towards the end again kind of petered out. Nobody really cared to watch it, which is sure. which makes sense. Um, started Bug Snatch, that was cool. Never finished it unfortunately. Played a played a Bullet Hell for a stream. Played Tetris Effect for a stream. Uh, Alt F Four, little indie game that came out this year. Played it for a stream. Got a video called Gen 1 Killed My Wife, Pokemon Blue. Very cool, very cool. <laughs> another another Pokemon Blue title, Fart O'Clock. <laughs> so, Zach really yeah, pulled out all the know. stops for these titles. You think Get all the good more. ones go to YouTube podcasts? No, sir. Oh, yeah. Believe me. Oh, yeah. Real good shit on Zack Snyder plays. More Sporkle quizzes. Emily is Away is another indie game. That was fun. Did that for like an hour or two. Uh, so... You know, the thing, the thing about it is, like I said, streaming, not really a priority right now. Hadn't been since March of 2021. Um, Mm. Don't know when I will do it again, to be honest with you. I get the itch every once in a while. I set up like a, I got my room set up to where it's like, there's actually shit behind me and I got lighting now. I got, I got the tools to do it. I know how to do it on a schedule for like a month. And Zack Snyder plays would have been a really cool opportunity to make that content, you know, there forever. But it's right. not a priority, so I shut down Zack Snyder plays. It's gone. Can't get to it no more. Mm. Um, and the Twitch channel is still there, but I'm gonna be honest with you. I think now that I'm now that I'm thinking about it right now, the next yeah. time I stream, very possible it'll, it'll just be on a new Twitch channel. Very possible. Why not? Very likely. I mean, yeah, why not? You know. And at that point, I will only stream either very casually every once in a while, like I kind of have been for a while, or I'll um, I'll actually have a schedule. I'll be like, this is what we're doing um, and can act- actually follow it on a new channel. The only downside so, of that would be is you would have to uh, move that following over and regain affiliate. It's kind of a pain in the ass. Yeah, that's, that's true. The thing is. But you could gain that back in a month if you had like a month, bro. Yeah. A month, and I've I've got people that are willing to watch me on Twitch. There's like a good five sure. to ten people that like show up, and it's fun. Like I really do enjoy it. I feel like I'm actually good spending time with the community. With yeah. Exactly. Exactly. Um. So I, I don't know. We'll see what happens, but that could be a good uh, idea. I think you should you know? uh, explore that. That could be cool. I think it would be I think it'd be interesting. Like a Your Everyday Nerd Twitch channel, since this one is still rebranded to Zack Snyder Productions. Mm. Or even Zack Snyder Plays. You know, it can be that. It can be something different. I don't know. But just not a That's not a priority. Next right year now. Zach's problem. It's not, not my, my problem. problem right now. It might not even be next year. Like like I said, it's not even like a thought in my mind as to what I'm gonna do there. Um mm. just kind of spitball and shit. That's the Twitch well, channel. With that, we've covered everything we can think of. Not cu- talking about Twitter. Not talking about Discord. Right. Got a couple of like random shit. Um, Aiden and I went to record an episode of The Game Club. 
the LHG podcast. We were going to do a yeah, thing talking nice. about, right. We were going to talk about all the games, like our top 50 game list that we came up with, but um, something episode, happened. I lost it. I the lost, audio. Uh, well, lost my audio, not yours. My yeah. Audio yeah. Which is I fine. I can upload it. It but was fun fine. to do it. Had a, it already had a random finale anyway. So Yeah. Um, yeah. January, I got on the clubhouse. I made a hundred dollars and then I stopped using clubhouse. Got a good YouTube podcast episode so, out of it for sure. That was funny. I bought an iPod touch. And so basically I got my money back from the hundred dollars, but you know, whatever. Um, again, tons of, tons of new shit, man. Anchor, not anchor. Um, audacity still in data. What the, the hell? <gasps> Twitch still in data. What the hell? the hell the metaverse bro you have for the metaverse metaverse this year insane yeah so um i think in terms of like the overall like creator economy (laughs) right Uh, lots of lots of wild and shit that is going to be setting up for the next few years i think yeah this was a big year for like youtube Twitch creators and we've covered we've covered like a good 90 percent of it and there's some shit we couldn't talk about obviously just either because of time or it would have taken too long um mm-hmm. but no it's a it's a big year it's it's clear that the 2020s are not going to be like the 2010s you know we are moving in a in a different direction as, as youtube becomes this more sort of uh, corporate platform as shorts become like a new viable form of content uh, will long form stuff still have a place? Will it be short form stuff? How big are podcasts going to be? Will we see live streaming move from a solo content field to a secondary one? There's a lot of moving plates and we can kind of guess directions, but mm-hmm. it, it would only be a guess. You know, if things could rapidly change, we could have another mixer situation happen and the platform shuts down potentially. We've lived through that as well. Right, uh, right. But the making content and being creative always stays the same. So I'm glad we talked about that more rather than like YouTube did a thing. Yeah, cool. But how did you do creatively, bro? You know, how how, how was right. your year? So I guess I just want to end it with that. Like final thoughts on the year. What's your plans for next year? Since YouTube podcast will be ending and we can't talk about it. You know? Yeah, 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 for sure. For sure. I mean, I know we we, we might talk about like, the future future in the finale like what do we what do we got sure. plans for like five years future. but like in terms of like this upcoming year and 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 this past year i think 2021 is um exactly what i expected when we had the conversation at the end of 2020 because mm. i remember saying i think we're moving into the era of content creation and our lives to where looking at a year and reflecting on it is not enough data to use for the next year. Um, it is 2021 is an extension of 2020 for me. And 2022 will be an extension of 2020 and 2021 for me. I don't see much big changes happen. There were some changes, better equipment. Um, I feel a little bit more confident in what I'm making. I made some cool shit. I'm ending Editing things money. from the last um the last era what'd you say editing money and shit new opportunities editing money new opportunities like it was a very good year for work hoping that that will only get better as the this next year comes uh but in terms of what i plan on doing in 2022 it's uh you know want to make more your everyday nerd want to make more comedy music occasionally and that's that's it man that's that's it. Hopefully, find a direction that I want to go long term for sure. Um, mm. The G four opportunity works out. That'll be interesting. We'll change some things. Want to continue doing well with my client work and getting better, making more money eventually. That'd be cool. But it's uh, I don't have any like big revolutionary ideas at the moment in terms of what's going to happen in twenty twenty two. I just don't. Sure. Less. It's hard less predictions. Right. It is hard to predict. Yeah. I've been thinking about this a good bit. And uh, I guess I'll spoil what I wanted the final episode to be called. I wanted it to be called the end of an era. Mm. Uh, 
because mm-hmm. in a way right, that that's what 2021 well. represents for me is the yeah end of you know yeah, absolutely we've gotten to the point where i have known you long enough that a period of my life has ended and i am entering a new one with the only similarity being that i knew you in both periods you know yeah um, definitely definitely and that didn't happen you know if i change my life if i change what's going on that change usually comes with a new set of friends right mm. so moving out of high school into my college era well hey right. i met you and then discord and everything happened but i don't talk to those high school friends anymore i don't know them mm. i don't i don't speak to yeah. them i get it whatever i don't have college friends so it's like this discord um and that era that i'm calling 2017 to now featured a lot of shit that going into 2022 will no longer exist or it'll exist like as a, as a memory, as a footnote, right. Adding to it. LHG's done. Let's plays are done. A lot of the podcast shit's gone. Like we're moving on from that. There's less side projects in general. Uh, my old channel, blue catch productions is gone. That's crazy. I have yeah, a new one yeah. called Blue Catch Productions, but the old one, the reason <laughs> I did this podcast, the reason I met you all, the reason uh, I got into this is gone. There's no True. there's no footprint of that anymore. So much in my life has changed over the past four years, not only on a content creation level and the projects I'm doing, but just as a person in general, I feel so different about what role making videos has in my life. Same. To where back in 2017 and 2018, it was my whole personality and all I wanted to do. And it was all the value that I put into myself was dependent on that. I'm 24 and my vibe about it is I like doing it. I enjoy doing it, but it is not my everything. You know, it is not exactly. what defines me anymore. It's a part, a big part, but it's not the whole thing. I don't even want I my could- career to define me anymore. Yeah. You know, yeah, that was a big shift. We, we were very much on the hustle grind yeah. work type shit. And now we're just not anymore. I want to be a um, good friend. I want to be a good brother, a good son. Yeah. You know, I want to move into like a dating life. I want to get better at media literacy. I want to learn, grow, you know, and just making YouTube videos. You know? you know, when I'm 70, sure. Like down the house. <laughs> When the communist regime takes over. <laughs> this is kind of Joe Biden's America, bro. I'll tell you. <laughs> I want to talk about something that impacted my 2021. I'm joking. I'm joking. We've gone through a whole presidency. And then the amount yeah. of time so much shit has changed. Yeah, it's pretty and shitty for the one better, too. <laughs> Absolutely. Too. For Absolutely. the better. I say all these things are ending. And yeah, I feel sad. I feel sad a YouTube podcast is ending. Sure. There's a part of me that's like sad. That these things that I put time into is is ending and a part of my life is done. Of course it's sad. But now that I have the hindsight behind me and I understand all of what happened, I am ready for what comes next. I'm excited about what comes Hell next. Yeah. I'm happy for what comes next. And yeah, a part of that will will still be YouTube and content creation. I hope it's not the only thing I'm happy about. You know? I really do. Same. Same. You know, we, we we've talked about with with 2019 ending, we talked about the decade, right? Uh, but but like 2021 is my decade of content creation. I started in November of 20. I started in May of 2011, and now it's December 2021. Yep. Ten years later, and now, now finally, I feel like it's a good place to start, bro. I feel like I can start working towards something actually worthwhile. Um, it'll be a decade for which me will be next cool. year. So yeah, close. yeah. I I think that when we talk about YouTube in our own DMs and our own calls, in person maybe I don't know. In ten years, we're gonna have so many other uh, great things to come out of it, regardless of where the channels go. That is both with success or without it. I think the next ten years will be better than the past ten years. I hope so at least. And as far as you know? As far as the future is concerned, like, you know, I want to work on Blue Catch Productions, obviously. Yeah. Twitch streaming again would be fun. Ain't on anchor and comedy music. When it happens, it happens. Yeah. Don't plan on starting more Let's Play shit anytime soon. Oof. And, uh, Dodge that bullet. 
don't plan on starting any more solo podcasts anytime soon. So <laughs> I'm ready. I'm ready to move on. And if the opportunity arises where I'm excited about a new thing, I want to, you know, I want to do the new thing too. I'm always down to pivot. Always down to pivot. Same. I'm not Same. ever locked into one thing as far as YouTube shit's concerned. And that's, that's sort of the, one of the few major lessons is like my content's just changed and it's probably going to change a couple more times before it's all said and done. And I'm truly satisfied. We're taking some right steps, you know, we're taking the right step. Right. Right. I'd hate for a year ago, a year to go by and there would be nothing new, you know? Yeah. And there's a few things new. There's a few things new. Yeah. That's cool. I agree. Absolutely. Interesting year. Right. End of an era. say, end of an era. It's the best way to put it. I think you've said pretty much everything that can be said. Um, And again, like, interesting year in terms of the overall creator landscape, too. So, Yeah. yeah, it's cool. Let us know down in the comments, the email, another YT podcast at gmail.com. Let us know what were, how was your 2021? Was it epic? Was it not epic? You know, lots of stuff been happening in the year, but what'd you do? What are you proud of this year? Right. Let us know. That'd be really cool. We only got two episodes left. So ask for a a final time. Yo, Zach, when you want to record YouTube podcasts, Damn. Damn. One more time. And then and then I can get this dude to stop bugging me about shit that don't yeah. fucking matter. Come on. I'm gonna Oof. be bugging you about what the final funny bit is to open the episode and put like a shit ton of pressure oh, on man. You and get it perfect. Like You need to come up with something like godlike, right? Yeah. The best You'd be the funniest shit I've ever said. That's it for me though. Shout out to the sponsor, shout out to the listeners. As always. As always. Thank you I've been for eight. listening to the episode. I've been Zach. Thank you for listening to another YouTube podcast. Bye-bye. Peace. Really, uh, really screwed that one up, huh? I said thank you, and, and you had to say thank that, you, and it fucked that up. So ruined the flow Let's record of the, the whole episode, actually. I think we're going to have to scrap it and restart it just to fix the ending. For sure. Yeah, okay.